come and have a bath, girl. Yeah, come on. No, no, no. no. We'll have a nice bath. She loves the water. Oh, she loves the water, but she doesn't like to have a bath. Okay, stay there. There you go, eh? She hates having a bath, but you can't get her out of the water when we're going swimming. She's just like a puppy after she has her bath. Like her fur is just so soft. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Nice and pretty after. Smell nice and pretty. Clean your ears, hey? see her uh, she ripped her hide off one time she's got a big cut right from he over here all the way to right here and when I wash her you can really see it that was a nasty one eh? she was chasing a cat hey you're doing good chasing a kitty you got him yeah you got him yeah she cut the bumper of my motorhome and sliced her hide wide open only yelped like twice that was it hey girl pretty tough she got a purple heart for getting wounded in the line of duty, eh? <laughs> okay, we're all done. Now I just gotta wash off there. Whoops, okay. Hold on. Gonna take a while here. There's only so much pressure. Really windy out here today, so she'll dry off fast. You gotta pick and choose your, your days for what jobs you do. If I don't wash her on a windier day, then she takes forever to dry off there. Hold on. What a cutie! What a cutie you are. Yeah. This works pretty good, eh? Huh. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Dad. Stupid bath. Get a little bit warmer, then you won't be cold after, eh? She gets cold. It's cold easy now. He doesn't have much fat on it. Hold on. Okay, can you get
get up. Okay, hold on. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. There we go. You're like brand new. like a puppy all over again. All nice fur. Oh yeah, that should be good. That's a handy little thing to have, the outdoor shower. Okay, shake. Okay, shake. Shake. I'm gonna shake. Do a shake. There you go, hold on. Okay. Hold on. She likes to run away. She just doesn't want to stay in one spot. So patient, this dog. Well, okay. Not for this, she doesn't. Hear bones creak in the poor girl. We're gonna have to get some three in one oil and move up your bones, eh? Okay, she shouldn't take long to dry. There you go. Right on. There we go. Okay, well, I didn't get everything I wanted to do on this trip, not even close actually. I didn't get my uh, quads even unloaded, didn't only fired up one chainsaw but I got this all tidied up that was a ton of work a lot more than it seemed like it should have taken but I had other things like the the leak and then I had problems with my fridge not lighting you know the battery issues like all these little things just tie you down but uh, they'll be it'll be better for the next trip you know I got uh, I got the bulk of it done I st well I still have to do this but uh, I'll come back. I'm gonna go into town and then just kind of regroup, um, stock up on a good supply of food, and uh, I might even work on these quads. I think I'm gonna sell them both. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking I want to get another, uh, another, maybe like an old Suzuki King quad. I just want a tiny little quad. I have another quad, but I don't like it. It's, it's just big and you know it's powerful. It's bulky. I don't. That's not me anymore. I, I like to explore. I don't want to go on tight little trails. I don't want these big highway trails. I don't need a big machine like that. I'm not a mud bogger or nothing like that. So, so we'll start the hunt for a little quad. It'll probably be something that's a basket case, <laughs> but then I can go and put everything I want on it. Kind of modernize it a little bit, you know, maybe hand warmers and thumb warmers and things that it wouldn't have come from the factory stock. Yeah, I fixed up a couple of these little holes here. So, it all adds up and then the driveway in there I fixed it up a bit too so I'm gonna pull out we're all ready to go I just got to turn the key and load the dog and away we go gave everything at once over I checked all the, the lug nuts oh I gotta I gotta hook up the trailer first but other than that yeah we're basically ready and uh, yeah, I checked all my lug nuts and uh, on the tires and checked all my tire pressures. Everything's good. So we'll go and dump the tanks there in town and uh, we'll see you in the next trip. Over and out.
little dodge flex is pretty good. I'll have to watch that hump there. I'm going to have to go straight instead of cutting it so short. See my hitch did dig in somewhere. Or not my hitch, but my uh, my jack. Jack, where did he dig in? Somewhere in the center here. Oh, right there, eh? Holy smokes! Weird. It's never touched there before. Oh. Well, I did have my equalizer bars off this time. Last time I left them on. Even despite me putting a little bit of uh, fill in there to raise that up, it still just, but it just barely touched. Yeah, it just, it was just an old stump in there. Could have been uh, bad though. I should have been, well, it's hard. You don't have a spot or you just gotta go, right? Often I'll just get out and look a bunch of times. Well, there we go now I'll get it to uh, level just ahead here and then I'll put my equalizer bars on and that'll that'll level that out see she's squatting a bit okay, you can see she's about three inches lower at the back and the front so we'll put these bars on Sometimes you lift the jack, it's a lot easier to take the weight off, but let's try it this way. One, two, three, four, five. I had it at five on the way out here, so let's see. Well, I'm not going to get five at the beginning here, where it's sitting. I'm at three. Trailer brakes were working a lot better there. So it must have been a bad connection all the way here. They were working, but this much, much better now. So here's five. Let's see what happens. I gotta get a shorter bar here. Gotta be super careful with those things. Because if they snap back, it's gonna hurt. Well that level they're out pretty good. I gotta go on this side again now. gonna get but yeah sometimes you just you gotta 
take some weight off. And then, I guess I could have did that right from the get go. I forgot I had my blocks. Get my adjustment for anybody that hasn't done this. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five. That's six. I think I'm on the fifth one. That is right. Okay, five are links are showing. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try that. This bar is just a little too long here. I think it's too much. So I'll try four. Four links are showing. Try that. See what happens there. Okay, let's see where we're at. Looks pretty darn level. It looks like a little bit lower at the back. I probably could go go to five, but it's nice to keep a little bit of weight back there. Anyway, we're gonna try it at that, see how it goes. Okay, let's do a zero to whatever acceleration test here with the uh, V10. It's got about 11,000 pounds on the back. Okay, we're just idling along here, let's go. Big hill up up here, so <laughs> we'll need the speed for when we get up there. Yeah, not too bad. That's still second. It probably won't shift to third. If it does, it won't hold it, I don't think. Overdrive, right to the floor. This is a big hill, so we'll see here. Just around the corner is the hill. Doing pretty good. Unlocked. Well, the engine's holding it. It's not bad. I thought it'd be worse than that. 
we're almost to the top. Temperature hasn't moved much. Gas gauge will probably start moving soon. <laughs> There's an even bigger hill coming up. Well, that's not terrible. Diesel would pull it really good up there, but 500 bucks, what do you expect here? Okay, here's the other big hill. We're gonna leave it right in second gear here. the temperature hasn't moved yet. This is a really big climb though. There's that grouse. I just got to this camp again. Just went for a little drive here. It's about a week later and I see my little watering hole is, is all but uh, dried up. I had grabbed uh, a couple buckets and there was some material in the buckets. And uh, so I dumped it over here and I grabbed a little bit more. And you see how these tree roots are? Well, I thought, you know, if you're walking around camp, you're going to always be tripping over those roots. And I don't know a ton about trees or anything, but I don't know, like, if that, if it hurts them to have the roots exposed like that or anything. So I took that stuff from over there and I threw it in here. And you can see that it's already, there's already grass growing up through it. So that's cool. It's only been a week. See right there, eh? That's kind of neat. Yeah, so anyways, doesn't look like anybody was here. That's where we were camped. Oh, it just smells so good here now that all the everything's kind of blooming. Like look at how look at how much those trees have filled in. That's quite a bit, actually. Phone's all screwed up here again. But yeah. It should be a lot less windier here next time I come because, holy smokes, did that ever fill in big time. Yeah, I'll come out and we'll clean it up, clean it up some more. And it's uh, definitely a lot cooler here than it was in town. That's okay. Just took old Chevelle for a swim there, so she's been running around like crazy. Did a little shave today, got, got rid of some fur. coming down the road. Yeah, so, um, did I say how good it smells here? <laughs> yeah, it smells awesome. Big storm rolling in there and behind me. Yeah, I got lots of cleanup to do here the ground next time I come. I'm walking around pretty good, but it's because I'm on the Advil. I did go to the hospital and, um, I have to go back again and get some tests, so who knows? Could be something more serious wrong with me. But I can see my ankles like they're they're swollen right up. Doctor said to uh, just kind of sit at home and do nothing for days, like you know, a week. But it's hard for me to do. So anyhow, this is pretty soft in this block in here. Well, that's it. Next time I take video will probably be when we come back here which hopefully is really soon. Uh, 
toy hauler's ready to go. I ended up fixing up those quads there that I had in the trailer. I didn't get the little one running, but I got the the Phoenix 200. I got that running, so hopefully next time we talk, I'll have sold them. And then I can get working on my other pro, uh, 85 projects. <laughs> okay. Well, look at this. We got some dandelions. These are really good. Fry these up with uh, a little garlic and pepper. And a little bit of salt. And they are delicious. And they're supposed to be really healthy for you. Apparently at one time they were kind of like a, known as a superfood and then they became known as a weed. But anyway, we're going to gobble them up. Well, there we go. A little bit of yellow gold. You can take the little leaves there too. They're good. Good and tasty. I've always uh, ate these. Like these are on the... These are good for the, like, when you're out quad in the bush, you just want to, you know, you come across some dandelions in the spring and... Or, when, or whatever. I forget how long they go till, but... It's just a nice little trailside meal. Yeah, just bring your, uh, I have garlic salt, garlic and pepper mix salt. And uh, that goes really good with these. Grizzly bears will chase you right down the trail. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Let's go for our first swim of the year. Yeah, come on. He likes to swim. We'll see how she does here. She's got a bad back leg and probably lots of cancer and you know, all the things you get when you're old but she's a trooper toughest dog this side of the mississippi eh girl okay there you go happy birthday to chevelle happy birthday to chevelle <laughs>